Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create pages from a CSV or XLSX file with the Elementor Page Builder in WordPress using LPagery. With this method you can create hundreds or even thousand pages directly from a source file. My name is Jonas and I will be showing you how to do this today. First thing you gotta do is install the LPagery plugin. You do this by searching the WordPress repository and just search for LPagery and install it. LPagery lets you create pages with placeholders from a template page. To create your pages, we need two things. We need a template page and a source file containing your data. To create the template page, you simply add a new page. For this example, we will pretend that I A have a cleaning business and want to create pages for my different services. I will call this page my service. As you can see, I have added the service in curly brackets. This indicates a placeholder and will be replaced on the generated pages later on. Then I'll go ahead and save this and edit it with Elementor. Now you can style and design this page like you would any other page you built. I will add another placeholder in the content of the page named price, as the different services I am offering have different prices. When you are done building your template page, Go ahead and save it. You don't need to publish the page to use it as template page. Now we'll go ahead and add a CSV file containing the content for our pages that will be generated. To create a source file, I will be using Google Sheet. You can use Excel or OpenOffice or whatever fits you. The first row always is the header in which you decide which placeholder will be replaced by the content in that column. For the CSV file, in our case, this will equal to the placeholders we used earlier on our site, so this will be service and price. I want to create pages for five different services in this example, so I have to add five rows with the corresponding data. I have prepared some data for the pages I need for the cleaning service website. Each row, except for the header, represents one page that will be generated later on. You can enter as many rows as you want. Now I'll go ahead and download this as CSV file. When I have the CSV file, I can head back over to our WordPress website and go to the Elpagery dashboard. Now I'll select the template page I just created, so in my case, my service. In the pro version of Elpagery, you now could make some additional settings to the generated pages like setting categories, parent pages, custom slugs, and much more, but we don't need that for our case. I put a link in the description below where you can check out the pro version. I'll go ahead and drag my CSV file into the upload area. As you can see, it's loaded in here, and I'll click on Next. A pop-up opens where you can check all pages that will be generated. Here you can still make changes. For example, if you notice a typo in one of the rows, you can fix this here. When you are done editing, you can go ahead and click Create Pages. This will take some time, depending on the amount of pages you are creating, and the structure of your site, and how much content you have on it. I can click on Go to the Created Pages, this will take me to this page, and I will click open my two newly generated pages. And as you can see, all the placeholders were replaced by the data I set in the CSV file. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And leave me any questions you have in the comments below, or send us an email to infoalpagery.io. Bye.